What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video, and today some more Dragon Ball Fighters for you all. So, at this point, uh, when I'm recording this right now, the tournament, Nationals, is not over, but when you see this, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters National Championship, at least the group stage will be over. So I wanted to take a quick second to talk about just some things I've been thinking about Season 3, and probably the most important thing that hasn't that doesn't have anything to do with like improving myself as a player because there's a bunch of st stuff like that that i've been thinking about uh is also like what is the theme of this version like what's like the most important thing that the developers are trying to aim for in play this year this does matter a lot it's a it's a way to look at the game from like a macro level and of course it helps us pick uh characters to play and a team to play uh playing what fits the theme of the game will definitely definitely help you it'll definitely help you succeed it'll make it easier to pick characters especially in this game where it's kind of hard to build teams we've talked about this a bunch of before so as a pretty quick review uh season one i don't really think there's like a theme to it like you know the game compared to now especially was it's kind of like wild west it was kind of broken there's a lot of like by today's standards really strong tactics either people weren't using like snap and like fuzzy like offensive fuzzy um, a lot of people were focused on just, you know, using blatantly strong characters and uh, relying on strong level 3s for mix into high damage. Damage is never really a theme really to me because high damage is important in this game in general since this game is designed to be a two-touch game as we all know. So I feel like it's easier to talk about uh, Season 2 more than anything else. Season 1 also had a bunch of changes. Season 2, we had one patch for the whole year, which uh, I said last year. It's a pretty unpopular take, but uh, I was a really, really big fan of it because we got to take the game as it was and just build upon it. Uh, people's opinions of characters changed quite a bit over Season 2, and long-term... And the most important thing was neutral control combined with uh, ability to snap for offense because that made it so that when you're when you hit your opponent it just meant that you could if you optimize the right way uh, end their character in extremely quickly it was a very stable way to win uh, it basically won the world tour because uh, goichi's team was pretty good at doing it uh, and a bunch of people were playing teams that were good at doing that as well so this kind of brings me to season three. Uh, this season is much more neutral focused. So season two, the implication of having like that strong of an offensive situation on hit means that everyone has to get better at neutral because the whole way you access that overpowering win condition, right? hitting the snap is you have to hit them in neutral or the other way you can look at it is you have to not get hit in neutral so you don't get snapped the emphasis is still on neutral of course but i think there's much more of an emphasis on uh defense than before uh there are very few if any like totally guaranteed situations like that uh, a lot of level threes uh you know they've made changes to level threes over time to make the mix-ups weaker overall unless you pick specific characters that they kind of let rock and even then those characters uh you usually have to do something special like base vegeta or like you want them to be mid-screen i think trunks is probably a better example like using ui level one into uh trunks level three to pull them out of the corner like you need to usually spend extra resources to get the real strong situation as opposed to before so this leads us to uh where we are now so neutral and when i say defense not just like blocking but they also uh have added, and I, the obvious example is UI, but there's more than that. They've added characters whose defense is just better. Like they have like special defensive options. Uh, and there are more defensive assists than before as well. So for example, like uh, I had a Guilty Gear video recently where I'm like, oh, if you hate UI, then you'll really hate Biken. And someone's like, oh, you know, okay, you gotta stop excusing broken shit, you know. Biken is nowhere near as broken as UI, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I, address that uh i i think biken is worse but it's not about like what's worse you know really it's obviously just clickbait right uh the thing that like really stands out to me is that like he has a really strong defensive assist and he has really unique defensive tools roshi has this as well so i wanted to use uh season one as an example too because uh you know i i uh i had a 
half real talk, half meme, but I kind of feel that way. I really dislike Adult Gohan, as you all know. I, I pretty much hate Adult Gohan. And I, and I was saying, like, you know, in Season 1, Adult Gohan had DP as his call, but, you know, now that UI has it, apparently he's broken or something. Uh, again, not the point is, like, not, like, what about, what about, really? Uh, the thing that makes it stand out so much in Season 3 compared to previous seasons is that, like, if we use Season 1, for instance, right? You had Adult Gohan's DP, you had Teen Gohan's DP, nobody played Beerus... Uh, SSJ Vegeta, but he's anchor, so he doesn't have a lot of opportunities to do DP assist. And then Cooler comes later, and that's pretty much all the DPs. Uh, and out of those, there are three DP assists. But again, Cooler is kind of uncommon at this point. Uh, and his DP has a couple of big flaws, the main one being that you can low profile it uh, if you're small. There's not a lot of options. Now, in Season 3, with uh, one of their things they're trying to do, which I stupidly forgot to mention, is they also want you to make you... Uh, feel like you could pick any character they do this by of course buffing all the characters but also by giving the characters uh assists that are popular so if a character doesn't have like a beam assist or a blocks and assist or something to give it to them right but by this extension there are also more characters with defensive assist than before as well so an example of one you probably don't know is nappa b is like roshi b actually i don't think it has like the same blocks on per se but it's the same type of thing it's a guard point you can use it the exact same way on top of that too there are characters like 17 who's his uh his a assist is a defensive assist as well but that character is pretty unpopular right like most regions might have one person that plays him he's been pretty considered pretty weak since the game came out uh and even though he's buff right now people still aren't using him but we just see more examples of defensive assist being a uh, available aside between like characters like 17 being buffed like jiren being buffed and them just adding more defensive assists in general so there's kind of just a different dynamic to the game and how the game is played because of that. Most people are still kind of playing some type of mix between like season two, trying to still have neutral control or like they don't know what to do. So they play Kid Buu and a DP, aka Kid Buu UI, which was why we see that so much. Um, but I definitely feel like they want people to uh, not only feel comfortable in neutral, but feel more comfortable on defense because one of the most common complaints about this game is that defense sucks. That's the whole reason why UI is in the game in the first place. Remember, you asked for him, not me. I was very comfortable with defense the way it is. Uh, and there's more defensive assist available. So that kind of brings me to uh, the two teams I played in this season. So this season is probably the least I've switch teams since the game has come out in season one i played many many teams in season two i played like a handful like four or five straight up uh and season three i've only played two teams one team in season three one team in season 3.5 so my first team was base vegeta uh trunks and broly and my current team is what you see right now the gotex roshi broly so what's the first team the first team is pretty much like i picked up broly because i said hey if they leave Broly alone or they nerf certain things about the game like Snap and Offensive Fuzzy, I'm just gonna play him. I think he's gonna be really strong. I always tried Trunks and I thought they buffed him in a meaningful way. And then base Vegeta, you know, I thought he was like top seven. He got a couple of nice buffs. So that team was kind of like three good characters, the team. Uh, as time went on, I saw kind of the flaws in it and I started to see like what I thought was important for neutral and the game in general. And this brings me to my team, right? So this current team, so right before Roshi came out, I was actually playing base Goku. I was definitely in like character crisis mode. I started thinking that that base Vegeta Trunks Broly team had a few really big issues. The biggest one being that the mid range was really, really bad. And it's kind of important to have a good mid range. Uh, this is a, a thing that UI actually is really good at because he has really big buttons. Uh, his jab's really big, his 2H is really big, he has invincible options like the 236, for instance. So he has a lot of good options in mid-range. Base Vegeta does not have a lot of good options in mid-range, and the assists I have are like neutral control assists. So basically anytime I go mid-range, like I'm losing, and it was really, really bothering me and making me feel like the game was random, for lack of a better word. So I switched to Gotenks, uh, I was like, everyone says Gotenks is broken, no one plays him, so let's give him a shot uh and try base goku broly which is pretty established like i've seen people at this point i've played not only to kill stage but there's some good players i played in tournament that unfortunately i forget their names because it's only like the one time but i was like man this shell is really good so i decided to try them to be uh together 
they had some really good synergy. When I saw the Roshi B, I was like, oh, this is like base Goku B, like slightly worse in one way, but like better in a couple of ways. So let's try it. But uh, between playing him and uh, practicing offline again, because uh, like I said, one of my main uh, training partners offline is Vsage, Sage908, who plays uh, Kibu UI right now. Uh, and just a lot of people are playing UI and just like playing the game like often at a high level again instead of just playing on PSN. Uh, I kind of noticed that like this assist definitely changes the game. Like these assists definitely change the game. They did not exist commonly before now, as I mentioned before. And the way people have to deal with you uh, in mid range and point blank during scrambles is totally different because of it. Uh, it makes a really big impact, especially considering like, take for example, like Z Broly. He has really, really big buttons. One of the pe reasons why people don't like him is his buttons are ridiculous. They are quite good, right? When you have like a UIA or a Roshi B or any type of invincible assist, hit A, anything like that, now you have something to bank on, something to make them be careful when they're next to you. Normally, the spread of the guess is pretty tough in mid range. Is why people are always trying to like block or like only engage mid range on certain terms. But when you have a defensive assist, it's not like that anymore. With a defensive assist, now you have something to bank on, something to force them to kind of peel off or at least respect you a little bit. And if they don't respect you, you're going to get hit. Uh, again, another thing about both. People only say this about UI, but Roshi is kind of the same thing. Like, if these defensive assists hit you, they're really, really, really easy to hit confirm. Overall, though, I think these assists affect the game in a pretty good way. It's a nice to have a different dynamic to the game. And then for people who, because, you know, uh, we talk about, for instance, like, chip damage, right? How there's no chip damage, so characters like Frieza are kind of punished like this. Like, oh, they're a zoner, but they can't, like, zone, or it's hard for them to zone, or make their zoning scary. So for the people who do like to play defensive playstyles, they have something they could use to kind of like help them in that way. Uh, or you could play really aggressive if you want, or you could play like Kid Buu UI, because we all know Kid Buu works, Kid Buu DPs worked forever and ever. So there's like more options, and you can play the characters you like. So uh, I think the game's in a pretty good spot right now overall. There's a couple of other things I could talk about character wise, but as far as the game overall, I think it, we're in a really, really good spot. I'm gonna try to cover a couple of other like macro points about the game, mostly about characters, uh, especially cause like, this is pretty much the only season three patch we're getting probably. I'd be surprised if they patched the game again, to be honest. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.